Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how I improve the quality of my edits. This has been highly requested, so I figured I'd give it a shot and show you guys how I do it. Um, I also wanted to make this video because I realized my old video is quite outdated and I've changed my methods a lot since then. Um, so let's get right into it. So the first thing I do is I add an adjustment layer to my clips. So I just go new, right click, new, adjustment layer. And then I add um, sharpen and unsharp mask. Um, my settings are different depending on the clips, but if I take a look at this one, I'm gonna put the radius up to 15 and the amount to 25. And then I usually sharpen it anywhere between 20 and 40. But that looks pretty good. As you can just see, it just makes it look a little crisper. It doesn't do too much, but it makes it look a little bit better. Now there's plenty of tutorials on how to do CCs, um, but I use Magic Bullet Looks for mine. I add this to the same adjustment layer. And I don't do anything too crazy, I usually just do um, like a curves and a mojo. Mojo looks like this, you go to post, press T, and then I also add curves. And I usually just do like a slight S curve, kind of like that. Just uh, usually something like this is what I do for my CC. And you can see we already have a huge improvement in quality compared to when we uh, started. It looks a lot uh, more vibrant and crisp. The next thing I do to uh, make sure I have good quality is I export my video and I put it into Topaz AI Video Enhancer. So to export it, I usually use Media Encoder. You can look up other videos on how to export and convert and stuff, but I'm just gonna show you quickly the way I do it. So I go in my composition, I go composition, and then I look for add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. And when I press this and I go to Media Encoder, you just have to wait a second. And then it will be in your Media Encoder Q. So you, it'll set um, a location for the file and it'll give you some automatic settings usually. But what you want to do is open this, you just click it, and then you wait for it to connect and then you can change it to have better settings. So I'm gonna just take a look at this. I usually do render at maximum depth and I put it to CBR 50. And then I click use maximum render quality. And then I choose a location for my file and I render it. So once I've done that, I have, I open up Topaz, I grab my video and I just drag and drop it into Topaz. Now Topaz is a little confusing and I'm gonna just quickly go through how to use it and export with it. So first of all, you have a few different AI models for your upscale. I haven't really played around with it. Um, if you guys are doing this, you can try lots of different ones, but I found that Armidas low quality gives the best um, settings for anime at least. And that's because it looks for like I guess it tries to remove as much artifacts as it can because it um, is assuming it's a low quality video, which it is in this case. Then you can choose a few different presets. You can just do like 100%, which just keeps it the same dimensions and um, it uh, removes the artifacts. Or you can upscale it, so you could do like 200 since it's already 1080p, it'll go to 4K. Um, it automatically likes to add grain, so I usually just turn that to zero just because I don't want any grain. And then it sometimes likes to compress to keep the file small, but it's better just to turn the compression off so you can have good video quality. Um, you can choose to keep the audio or lose it. I usually, if I'm editing, I'll put on keep audio or I'll just add it back into After Effects and then add the audio because I found with this application sometimes you lose audio quality. You can play around with it. And then you have a little preview button here and you can get a little preview of what your footage will look like. So it'll load and you can see just by looking at it how much better it looks. If I zoom in, you can see compared to before, it's so much better. So once you've gotten a look at it and you can tell that your video looks better, 
you can just go out of your preview and click the export. And then it'll load through an export depending on where you chose to export it to. So now it's finished exporting and I have my new 4K video. I'm gonna drag and put it in the same composition just so we can do a little comparison. And you'll notice when you do this that the video is bigger and that's because I did it to 4K. I did it to 200%. So I'm gonna have to go to my um, composition and I'm gonna have to make it the same as the new video I put in, which is 3840 by 2160. Then you can see now it's upscaled to 4K. And you can see if I turn the layer off, the layer below it is the old one. And just to do a comparison, I'm gonna scale this one up just using a scale. And then when I turn this layer off, you can see the difference on the edges. So this is the AI enhanced one, and that's the old one. And it looks so much better. It's so blurry and bad, but with the AI, it's so much crisper. And you can even go through, now that you've upscaled it, and add more sharpen and unsharp stuff if you'd like. So I'm gonna add them directly to the layer just for the example. Use the same settings as before. Maybe I'll put it to like 38 sharpen. And you can just see, like, so much better. Everything looks so much cleaner. And if you want, like, a full before and after, I can turn off all of the original settings. And you can see how much better it looks. Look at that. So, thank you for watching, everyone. That's it. See you guys next time.